Hey, so in this uh, this video, we are going to test the F90,000-267 uh, T Automotive fuel pump, commonly referred to as a Walbro 450. So this is the step up from the 262-400. Um, it's rated for E85 and warrantied in it. And supposedly flows a little better. Um, people called it 450, but from the charts I saw online, um, it actually flows closer to 430 at 40 psi. So, um, like I said, so it's a little more robust. Excuse me, robust motor than the uh, the 400. It's rated for 85, and it can be run up to 18 volts. Where this one says not to operate above 14 volts. So. We're going to test this one today. And I'm actually going to test it. So this this is used for bigger horsepower return setups and a lot of um, return applications. So I'm actually going to test it at different pressures. So we'll do 40, 50, 60, and 70 PSI. Uh, assuming guys running return systems with either higher base fuel pressures or higher boost level, levels, you know more than 10 pounds of boost. So guys running 20, 30 pounds of boost, running more than one of these pumps, etc. Filter on there. Get it plugged in. We get it plumbed up. There she is. Let's turn it on. Would need a would help if I plug my power supply in first, huh? Start at forty. And thirteen point five volts standard test voltage. And then we'll we'll get all the data at thirteen point five first. And uh then we'll move on to the higher voltage all right so i'm gonna set the camera back down i'm gonna record all the data i'm actually in liters per minute i like to do gallons per minute yeah let's go back over to gallons per minute it's easier to convert gallons per minute so well i guess technically not liters per minute i just times it by 60 but i've been doing gallons per minute or gallons per uh minute so I'm converting it, so I'm going to stay in that reading. Alright. So, 13.5 volts, 40 PSI, we are pulling 15.8 amps, so amps, 15.8, uh, and we are getting 1.9. Alright, we'll dial it up to 50 psi. Alright, now we're at 50 psi. I'm getting 16.5 amps. And 
Let's go up to 60 PSI. I'm at 60. Now I'm at 17.3 amps and 1.7. And all the way up to 70. Seventy PSI, I'm at eighteen amps and one point six. Pretty consistent drop there, point one per ten PSI working pressure. And I'll go ahead and do all the, the levels now, but let you look at that one. So eighteen seventy PSI. Alright. Um I'll go ahead and get the rest of the data first at the higher voltage and we'll shut it off and then look at the stuff. So we'll dial it back down to 40. And I actually didn't even think about testing this at a higher pressure because most guys that run these bigger pumps don't run voltage boosters or they run in return where you don't want a voltage booster. But um, I had someone request to see, since it is rated up to 18 volts working voltage, I figured it'd be cool to see what it actually gains, you know, what kind of current increase, vice flow increase I get running it at a higher voltage. Alright, so I'm back down to 40. Let's dial it up to that 17.5. You can hear the pump speed up for sure. Oh yeah, we're pulling some major amps now. But we are getting a good jump in flow. So I'm going to set you back down and we are going to record all this data. So at 17.5 volts, 40 PSI, we are at 2.3 gallons per minute and 20.2 amps. And we dial it up to 50 PSI. We are at bouncing between 2.2 and 2.3 so I'm going to call that 2.25 and amperage is at 20.7 go up to 60 psi it's bouncing between 2. no nope, steady at 2 nah, it's still bouncing 2.1 2.2 so we'll go 2.15 since it's bouncing between the two and woo 21.5 amps and up to 70 psi uh, 22.3 amps and solid 2.1 So 2.1, 22.3 is what I recorded. It's moving a little bit. Yeah, and then we're at 70 psi. So let's take a closer look at the data now. Yeah, I'll turn the voltage back down. Turn the pressure back down to 40. Shut her off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and convert these gallons per gallons per minute real quick. So 1.9 times 227.125, 432. So that makes sense. The um, the graph I saw for the actual flow of this pump online that was advertised was at 40 psi standard voltage 430. So Looks like the pump is flowing as advertised. Now let's get the rest of the data. 1.8. 409. So that's kind of an interesting thing I've seen before. So this 267 basically flows what the um, 
the 262 does, the 409, but at a 10 PSI higher working pressure. So it's kind of cool. Like, I bet if we were to compare the data from this one to the other one, it would match because pumps are pretty linear when it comes to that. Um, I bet you it's just, it's getting the same flow at a 10 PSI higher working pressure. I bet if I looked at the Bose through the range, it, you would see that con consistently. So maybe that'd be a cool thing to check out too. 1.7, 386, 363, now we'll go over here, 2.3, 522, so that's what the, uh, the big boy 285 and 295 Hellcat, whatever you want to call them, pumps were flowing. So it looks like if you voltage boost a 267, you're going to get the performance um, of what the 285 or 295 would get at factory voltage. So if you look at that, I mean, <laughs> this is opening all kinds of new possibilities for things to test. So now, now we're going to look at amperage and current draw. I'll have to probably do a video to compare that. See if it's more effective to run a voltage booster on the smaller pump or just run factory voltage on one of those bigger pumps. 2.25 times 227.125. 511. 2.15 times 227.125. Four seventy seven. All right, so there's the data. Um, definitely pulling more current. This is a higher flowing pump. Now let's see the let's do some percentages and find the current gain. Um, vice flow increase so let's look at the 40 psi so we 20.2 minus 15.8 it's four and a half amps basically 4.4 um divided by 15.8.27 so for 40 psi um we had a 27% increase in current and flow difference 522 minus 432 90 divided by 432 21 so current flow 21% all right it's not a huge uh, increase. I want to say on like an, a pump that's not rated to the high. So this pump's rated to 18 volts. So I'd expect it to be more efficient than trying to voltage boost a pump not designed to run above, you know, 13, 14 volts or like a factory pump that was never designed to run at those higher voltages. So initially what I'm seeing is more efficient flow without crazy amounts of increased current. So... Let's keep uh, checking the rest of these. So 50 PSI amperage, 20.7. I imagine this is going to scale too. We might get a trend here. Minus 16.5 divided by 0.25. Yeah, 25% more current. Flow five eleven minus four oh nine hundred and two divided by four oh nine twenty-five. Yeah, so we're looking twenty to thirty percentage on each one. Let's do sixty and then seventy will be our last. So 1.5. Yeah, I can tell by the numbers. It's 
It'll be similar. It's also 25% amperage increase. Flow, 488 minus 386. 100, it's, it's gonna be similar. I'll finish this one and then I'll stop. Uh, divided by 386, 26%. So flow. So there, it's pretty consistent through the operating range. I'm not gonna finish the last one because it would be similar numbers because each one we're gaining about 100 liters per hour and amperage is going up about four amps. So that's your ratio. Um, for this 267 or Walbro 450, um, it really flows 400 liters, 430 liters per hour at the industry standard standard 13.5 volts, 40 PSI. Um, and then if you have voltage boost it with a standard 18 volt BAP, um, you're gonna pick up 25 inch, 25 percent ish flow uh, and current at all of those working pressures. So yeah. There you go, that's it for this pump. Um, I'll save some of this data. And then, because these numbers look very similar um, to the 40 PSI test I did on the, the higher flowing Hellcat or 285295 pump, um, I'll save this data in another video. I'll compare a boosted 267, a voltage boosted 267 to a factory boosted larger pump. And then you can weigh out which one you wanna run there. So, yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks.